Peeps, welcome to another vlog. We are in none other than my parents' house and today we're gonna be doing work here. Yes, that's right, even plumbers need to do their plumbing. We're gonna be replacing this bad boy right here, this old toilet, come take a look at it. This is a one piece, I don't know how to pronounce this, I think it's LJ, which is a French pronunciation. It might be Elger, I don't know. But it's a one piece, it served the family for probably around 15 years. Done well for the family, it's time to get rid of it. We're gonna be putting in a American Standard Cadet Pro toilet and we're gonna be talking about the tools that we need, so let's get started. Tool number one, we are gonna be using a shop vac. We're gonna need a shop vac to vacuum out all the water that's still remaining inside after we shut the valve and flush the toilet. The second tools we need, we're gonna need some blue glove to keep us clean. We're gonna need a junior hacksaw. We are gonna need a spatula. Now here's the thing. Whenever you're replacing a toilet or putting in a new one, what you need to do is recognize that a lot of plumbers end up using wax gaskets. Whenever you do run into a wax gasket, you're gonna need something to clean that up. The spatula is the tool of choice for us. And that's why I always carry one and bring one in whenever I'm doing a toilet. I don't think dad used a wax gasket on this when he installed it. I'm under the impression that he used a rubber gasket like we always do. So I don't think I'm gonna to need to use it today, but that's why we always have a spatula on hand whenever we're doing toilets in case the previous toilet had a wax gasket that needs to get cleaned off. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we're gonna also need pliers and a screwdriver and some meat bits. Let's go. Whenever you have a situation like this where you got some dirt on the uh, tile that was underneath the toilet, you could always use the spatula also to scrape up some of that dirt to make sure it's nice and neat. And I'm also going to use the spatula to take off the old silicone that was here, but I'm also going to take out my blade because it tends to do a finer job of it. But that's also a useful reason to have a spatula even when you're not using a wax gasket on this. As we expected, it was a rubber gasket. Uh, but even so, we're still gonna need to do a bit of cleaning. Let's go. exactly where I want to be for the next phase. Let me just show you. We got a nice clean area now in order to put another toilet on top. One thing that I want to point out is I normally keep the nuts of the previous bolts, especially if they're in decent shape, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bolt in here, and the bolt most likely is going to drop down because there's quite a bit of depth in here. Look how, how deep this goes. See how deep that is? It's pretty darn deep, right? So what I normally do is I take those nuts over there and I actually thread the bolt so that it's taut with the flange. That way when I put the new toilet on top, the bolts aren't gonna fall in as I'm trying to thread them. And that's usually a nightmare because you won't be able to actually pull the bolt out. You might have to actually take the toilet off again, but by tightening them to the flange, you actually have them nice and taut and you don't have to worry about them falling in. It's just a little something I like to do. Let's get to it. little thing. I am not being paid by American Standard at all. I'm telling you this from the bottom of my plumbing soul. This is why I love the Cadet Pro series, American Standard Toilet, because it feels like 
a plumber actually designed it. What I was just describing with the previous nut, that is something I figured out years ago that makes my life a bunch easier. The Cadet Pro actually has nuts and bolts that already have something that threads onto it in order to mount it to the flange. It already has that. So that's something that I gotta say. That they're cleverly designed, makes our lives a lot easier as plumbers. Somebody's thought about it, you know what I mean? You could tell that they've had some conversations with people in the field. That's why you gotta love them. That's all I gotta say, let's get to work. big fan of the American Standard Cadet Pro. Um, I already showed you the bolts, but I didn't show you the mounting or the threading mechanism, which is triangular. It's really ergonomically fit for your fingers. That's one reason, and then you don't have to actually cut the bolts. What they tend to do is give you a really tall cap for it, so the cap goes right over it, despite uh, how long it actually is. Normally with regular caps, you gotta cut this bolt, because the caps are actually like half the size of this in regards to the height. So this one is already designed so it looks nice and neat even though it's a taller bolt. The other thing is, is they provide you with this small little tool. Even though it doesn't look like much, it helps threading the tank to the bowl much easier. And in conjunction to this small little tool, they also have these small little clips. Now this is supposed to go over the bolt from underneath the tank so that it basically is taut and stays attached to the bowl as you go under and fumble around to finally thread this little piece on with the tool I was showing you before. So like, I'm telling you, like there are very fine details about this one toilet. You can tell that they had talked to many people in the field that just start describing the things that irritate them about the job site and things that are making uh, installing toilets more and more difficult. And this one just feels super streamlined. All right. I know I keep tooting their horn, but I feel like it's well-deserved. American Standard, I stand behind this toilet. This one's a big deal for us at Sigma Plumbing. Let's go. doesn't come with the toilet this is from our supplier there are these rubber shims that you can buy that are specifically designed for toilets well we use them for toilets in porcelain basically these are a godsend every once in a while you meet a toilet that's extremely shaky and this is one of those toilets unfortunately so by putting the shims underneath the toilet you're able to put it in line so that's level and then afterwards we're going to cut these so that they don't show and then we're going to throw a bead of silicone around the base of the toilet and that's how we finish it off. Just want to let you know these are on the market. See if you can find some. They're really helpful. Mm -hmm. 